you guys just get out of the critical role premiere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally All right, how was it? Who are, who are you guys? Uh, I'm Sean Gilmore. Sean Gilmore, good. And I'm Bob Regard. Did you guys make your own outfits? You yes. did. You guys look great. Has this been the longest theater experience you've had? Yes. Would you do it again? Uh, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. Like for just the finale or what? I, if it was part of their Patreon where yeah. I could do every episode in the theater, I would do it. Beautiful, I'm beautiful. Okay with the soundtrack being surround sound. I'm okay with that. The only downside is like, this, for my dungeon master, this is like five minutes from. For me, it's like a half hour. For my partner, it's three hours. Uh huh. Yeah. So maybe not every time, but I, I like it. Any final thoughts? Anything you want for the rest of the campaign? I want to see what happens when someone gets knocked unconscious and and fresh cut grass has to revive them. I want to know what that like resurrection. Ceremony What's Sam's is line like. gonna be? Yeah. yeah, I need to know what that is like, little robot. Yeah. <laughs> I am just excited to see what I assume to be Travis's real character. What uh, do you mean his real character? Was there a hint there? Well, it's level five, which would be pretty unfair to everyone else. Oh. And that character is like an old character that's, he, like you said, he wants to pass on the torch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully not cut fresh cut grass, but who do you think is most likely to die? If, you, uh, if there's a PC die? Besides Bertrand? I'm going to guess Laura's character because she's a squishy sorcerer. I'm just saying I'm gonna go with Robbie's character. I know yeah? that's awful to oh. say, but I feel After like he's Xandry gonna After Unlimited die. and everything? Yeah, I feel like he's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna piss somebody off. Yeah, and they're yeah. Gonna kill him. You do cosplays? I do cosplays and drag at peter.pansy. Okay. Same on Instagram. I got an Instagram, a Brainstorm Woodwork, and my Etsy, which is Brainstorm Gaming. That's a uh, honest, it's not a. I burn stuff with electricity, I have a lot of DD stuff. Mm -hmm. I recently just sold a deck of many things. So, nice. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Very cool. Thank you so much. What did you guys think of the premiere? It was awesome. Great. Yeah, any favorite moments? The, the long the talking about the <laughs> awards. Yeah. It had everybody rolling. That too. And the gas can. Yeah. That was hilarious. Uh, Sam Regal <laughs> listing his uh, construct friends. Do you have a favorite new character? Shortcut grass. Fresh cut grass. How Fresh great. cut grass. AKA letters. Uh, I really liked uh, Marissa's character, Ladna. Ladna? I think she's going to be fun. Very spooky, very nice. Yeah, I like it. It's like the, she's, the, she's the evil witch who actually wants to be your friend. Do you think there's one that's most likely to die? <laughs> I was going to say Talison. Talison? Talison? Again, of course, right? I was thinking like uh, Majid's character, she kind of jinxed it with fresh cut grass, is big, his little mini figure broke. That's true. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so maybe, so you guys are, are used to kind of the, the long haul. Would you do this again if the Critical Role did this again? Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah? For like just the finales or? No, no, anytime they did it. Anytime they did it, yeah. yeah. They did this, I would be here. Beautiful. Like, just the, the, the invite, it's like a Marvel premiere, just like the feeling in the, or like a Star Wars premiere, one of those where everybody's excited, everybody's laughing, yeah. everybody's yelling. You got cosplayers. Yeah, it's just the, the, the vibe is so fun. You do? Awesome. Fifth edition? Oh, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Critical role one liner out of all of them. Your secret is safe with my indifference. All right. Your secret is safe with my indifference. Is it? Well, somebody's got to say, how do you want to do this? So, do you want to do this? How do you want to do this? That was pretty good. Yeah. I'm a fighter, not a fighter. Whoa. They turned the lights on? They turned the lights out on us. Do you have a favorite moment from today? Oh god, that'd be hard to choose. <laughs> All of Fresh Cut Grass and just Sam getting to just fully embrace the troll that he is. Of course. But in a wholesome way now, yeah. and it just doesn't seem fair. What do you think about his dynamic with Taliesin? I thought that was great. To see them be like buddies and then also chaotic together yes. was super sick. If there's a character, do you think that's most likely to die? I was trying to think about that, because I was like, especially with like them throwing EXU characters in there too. True. I was like, it's, it's such a toss up, but mm -hmm. I'm like, I think Travis is definitely an option with just, it just seems weird for him to commit to Bertrand Bell the whole time. <laughs> I mean I can see him this doing guy. it. But it's like it came out of nowhere. It I really like, did. As soon as he started talking, I was like, there isn't. It's not. No. And then the the um, the, she, the the I guess art pulled up on the side I'm like, God damn it. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> um, wants to think an EXU just because it seems a bit off. Not a final guess, but I think one of them maybe. One of them. Like Has this been the longest thing you've seen in theaters? Uh, yeah, this would be the longest yeah. thing. Would you do it again? Hell yeah. For like just the finale or for one of the other episodes? I would do it for anything because um, I'm from Hawaii, so we don't get 
this ever. Yeah. This doesn't happen back home. And it's like, yeah, I had a couple friends here and there who we'd watch, and, you know, occasionally we get to watch an episode together. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have the environment, and I could never really make it out to any of live shows or events or anything yeah. like that. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to do I, There's no way I'm not going to show right. up. Right. And I showed up, and I just, just walk into the theater and just everybody being critters yep and i was just texting my friend who's also into it but she's back home mm -hmm. I, like walking out i just was grinning because i was like i saw all the groups and all the people and then i saw the bow over there yeah, and i was yeah. like i'm surrounded by nerds and it's, it's great. so good it's so good because we're all just so we're all so invested in the same thing if they if they did episodes like this i would if i could get out here i would 100 percent do it because this is such a better, you know, way to watch it with every the whole theater laughing. Do you like? Was it a lively audience? Yeah, like especially in mine, like all the joke and every time like the funny thing, the whole theater started laughing. Awesome. And so if we could get those moments in like the dramatic ones or the epic combat scenes, because like you know I've seen the live shows right when like mm -hmm. especially like for example um, Search for Grog, especially yep. that end thing. If we can get that in all of these theaters. It would be the greatest thing, and it's like it's so much better than me watching in my dorm room, like right, right. you know, by myself with my headphones on. <laughs> I'm surrounded here. I'm surrounded by people that love it just as much as I do. To fin I love that story. Thank you. To finish off, do you have a favorite Critical Role one-liner? Oh God, there's a lot. I know there's so many. <laughs> when it was after the um, Word of Recall, mm -hmm. in J Jester did, and just our tagging being ta da. <laughs> Good. I for love no it. For no reason in at, at all. Just da da and then disappearing. Like, what? Beautiful. <laughs> He's so chaotic. Awesome. Thank you so much for talking. Yeah, thank you. Hello, hello. Do you guys just get out of the Critical Role premiere? Yes. Yeah. Is this anyone's first time watching a Critical Role episode? You are I, all pro. <laughs> How was the difference? How'd you like it in the theater? I, I thought it was just really cool to see the Critter community like come together, especially after this time where everybody's just been isolated for so long to like True. see every like this large community come together and take over an entire theater essentially. I heard the energy in there was really high, lots of laughing, cheering. Do y'all did y'all have a favorite moment from the campaign? From or from rather this first episode? Sam's new, I didn't see that. What is it? What's going on there? Gasoline it's can. Like a giant yeah. gas it's massive. Giant gasoline can. It's pretty dope. It's huge. Sam's character introduction because yes. it was just like fresh cut grass. And I'm like, hmm, wait. And then Matt looked at Sam and I'm just like, <laughs> is that Sam's character? Like, what the heck? <laughs> Matt's reaction seemed like he didn't know what F CG stood for yeah. before that moment. Yeah. Do you all have a favorite Critical Role one-liner? said to Trent Ickathon, I hope someone will mourn you when you're gone. Dude, that was so sick. That's rough. That's, <laughs> That's rough. I think how do you want to do it? Like, it's just iconic. I DM as well, and like, that, I've started to say it. I'm just like, oh, well, sick. Nice. <laughs> Most of us have actually played in a campaign together. Yeah? yeah? A few times, so. yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm in. I'm but she played for us. Yeah. Good. Yeah. May 2019 is when we started, and when we've had a basically consistent campaigns going on since then. Is it all 5e? Yep. Yes. Yeah. 5e. Yeah. Very cool. Has this been the longest theater experience y'all have had? Yes. Yeah. It was yeah. about four hours, right? Oh my yeah. God. It didn't feel like four hours. No? no. Would you do it again? 100%. I would absolutely yeah? do it again. Yes. Like just for the finale or for every episode? Uh, <laughs> it's a little steep for every episode. It is. Like special occasions like the, yeah. the final. Or for like a one shot? One shot. Yeah, like one shot. One yeah, shot. yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I have Very no cool. doubt that the community loved this experience enough to get together to do it again. Are you, is this a cosplay or is no, it? This is my best self. That is, I'm so happy for you then. <laughs> yeah. This is what I would wear all the time if I was allowed to. Well, y'all are out here tonight having fun. What'd you think of episode one of season three? Fresh cut grass has my heart and soul and I would marry Ashton in a second. Yeah. Very good. Solid. I want him to meet me. I don't know. <laughs> And like, it's <laughs> the beating up, it's just... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been vibrating around my apartment for a week. Yeah. Just like waiting, and then I was sitting here, they can attest to this, just vibrating in my chair the whole time. I was like, did you hear what they just said? And she was like, yes, it's loud. <laughs> so. Did you have any favorite moments? Any one-liners? I, mean, I, I hear fresh cut grass is stolen everyone's heart. When he was naming the people the other and his name. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of the other. Oh apple pie. Yep. That was so good. Because for a half second, I'm like, like a cat? Or like... No. Because, like, you know no. it's the one. Absolutely but it not. Could it could be. be. And it's Sam Regal. Yeah, so. Yeah.
got. I think I've, Matt was like crying. Oh. Some <laughs> <laughs> I think she was. <laughs> I've never related harder to a character than when Dorian rolled a natural one on a performance check, and I am a piano performance major. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's great. Mm-hmm. Things yeah. happen, you know. Yeah. I love when the, st- the airship landed and then. Dorian <laughs> yes, so when cool. it oh, that's oh, so good. Okay. Solid. Um, did you have any favorite of the new characters, including the ones from Exandria Unlimited? I have to say Dorian. Dorian. I'm a bard in my heart of hearts. I have to say Dorian, but I absolutely love all of them. I know Travis's character was a little different. Definitely. I'm enjoying it though. <laughs> do yeah. you think that I, I don't know, but do you think if there's one character that's most likely to die, do you think it's Travis's character? Do you think as a backup that he's just going to be brought in at one point, or do you I think mean, someone else? as a mentor character. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. So, if anyone's expendable, it's him. Mm-hmm. So mentor. Yeah, there's a good chance he's going to be replaced later because it would be really unbalanced. Yeah. Like, yeah. just stat-wise, even. What is your favorite Critical Role one-liner, if you had to pick one? Help, it's again. Help, it's again. Caduceus <laughs> in the mud for, like, the fourth time or whatever it is, third or fourth time. Mm-hmm. I will never recover from that. I am fairly new to Critical Role. I kind of dragged you? both of them into it. Good! <laughs> I was like, please. I don't. Come I on. don't really have one. Currently, it would have to be the pussy line. <laughs> the pussy line. Yeah. 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 Solid. Right. Yeah. Good stuff. It's right there. Has this been the the longest thing y'all have seen in theaters in like one sitting? Yes. Probably. Yeah. I don't think there's any movie that's a conference count. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> you watch that in theaters? <laughs> I mean, in person. If you go in person, yeah. That's true. That's true. Purged it from my mind. Would you? Uh, would you do it again? Would you come back here to like watch another yeah, episode? Actually, I was thinking like if you could just show up every week to the theater. Just like have I a reserve. I afford that. Yeah. But yeah, if I could, probably. Mm. I would just bring like oh, some yeah. homework and be like. <laughs> Any last thoughts? Any predictions for season three? Anything you want to say? Oh, I'm leaving my mind blank. Yeah, okay. I will just be super excited about anything they do, honestly. But I want to see more of the set. Yeah. Is going to get beat up like the little strat street rat he is. And yep. it's going to be wonderful. And I love him. And he's not going to be appreciated enough. Very good. I like that. That's a good character prediction. Yeah. I really yeah. hope that that earring just keeps getting passed. Yes. yes. I'm going to pass it back and forth. That's, that's, for sure. That is the one thing I will yeah. allow myself. Please good. Just keep stealing that. <laughs> That is a good gag. I think, do you think she's going to get in trouble eventually? It's, it looks oh, like yeah. it's going to be a running gag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, theft always has consequences, but mm. they're funny. But she's such a himbo, a bimbo, excuse me, that she'll just, like, get right out She'll slide on by. Or the street rat will get beaten up in her place. Oh, that would be quite good. I'm down. We'll just have yeah. to, we'll just have to wait and see. Are you all tabletop gamers? Oh, yes. Yes? yes? What do you guys play? Uh, Mostly just maybe D&D. Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition? Yeah. Awesome, right. awesome. Yep. I am you a sucker for wild magic sorcerers. Oh really? You yeah. said a bard at heart. So. I like I like the bards, but I get told to leave when I bring my instrument too often. <laughs> uh, to flutes, the game or as a character? No, to the game. Pan yep. flutes are really loud in close close settings. Mm, uh, mm. Fair warning, don't do that. It was a bad idea. <laughs> Noted. Noted everyone. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean a fighter, but I love it when I have cantrips based off of just like what race I am. Okay, like yeah. A little bit of magic sneaking yeah. in there. Yeah, like, like tiefling magic. player then? Yeah, tiefling. Um, yeah, tiefling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no matter what class I choose, I always end up being a rogue. Somehow. All right. You're like acting yeah. as a rogue in yeah, like a exactly. character? Yeah, Like I'm yep. going to sneak around and I'm going to be charismatic and I'm like, crap, I'm a rogue again. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> My oh, parents yeah. died in that fire. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known from the character <laughs> creation. Why are my clothes black all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Why do I have this cloak? <laughs> oh, black parade plays in the background. Yeah. Do any of you guys have a second to chat on camera about the Critical Role premiere? What are the questions? <laughs> was it fun? Was it interesting? Yeah. Do you have a favorite character? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's fresh cut grass. It's fresh cut grass, it's fresh cut grass every time. <laughs> Uh, first episode of season three, Critical Role, in theaters. What was it like being in the crowd in the theater? How is it different than at home? It's always more fun to have uh, a comedy when you're with a group, and Critical Role has always had the most peculiar <laughs> sense of humor. <laughs> yes, so yes. So I loved having a group of people to laugh with. Good, good. A hundred percent that same thing. It's so much fun to experience something like that with people rather mm-hmm. than just by yourself. It is a pretty big time commitment. Has this been the longest thing y'all have seen in theaters? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is the longest I've ever been in theater, so I'm really glad they gave us some nice comfy seats. Um, would you do it again? Yes. Yeah? 
Yeah. I would probably need to go for special events. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Like... A shopping episode's not worth it. No. Yeah, I was going to oh, say, like, no. like yeah. thinking back to campaign one, like, one of the dragon fights or the Thordak fight would have been good mm-hmm. to have in theaters. Like, yeah. one of those moments. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, with the um, introduction of all these new characters, it was a really lively episode. Did you have any favorite between the returning from Exandria Unlimited or the new ones introduced in this episode? You know, I don't know if I have a favorite. I do love the callbacks, though. Yeah? Like, those were so satisfying. Even on the shout-out uh, with Whitestone and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Like, that was such a good callback where we were shooting theories and stuff. Or okay, so, oh go gosh, I'm going to be so un- <laughs> a little sheepish, but it's okay. So I You're think good. my okay. first theory was that she was the creation of one of the Briarstones. Okay. Second theory was she was the creation of Ripley, inspired by the Briarstones. Mm. Briarwoods or Briarstones? Briar, Briarwoods. Oh, Briarwood, right, right, right. It's late. <laughs> it, it is. Thank you for Briar taking Woods, a second. Briarwoods, thank you. Anyway, uh, uh, inspired by the Briarwoods. And I think, like, after everything was done, so it was, you know, midnight, I'm on caffeine, and I was like, I bet she's the child of the Briarwoods. Yes. So that is my <laughs> out there theory. Vampire child. Was a vampire child. Trying to live her best life. Yep. There were a couple callbacks. Are you guys long-term Critical Role fans, it sounds like? I literally was there for Arrival at Craghammer. No way. Seriously. All the back in the Geek, Geek and Sundry days. All, all way back in the Geek and Sundry days. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I started re-watching it a few weeks ago, and I was like, oh, they have come so far. <laughs> like, like back when they're, like, whispering to the mics. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if I heard from you. Do you have a favorite character from Campaign 3 so far? Ooh. I'm, I'm really amused by Fresh Cut gra- Grass. Yeah. It seemed there was a, was a kind of common denominator. People seem to really like Fresh Cut Grass. Yeah. <laughs> Sam creates characters where it's just, like, they're, they're amusing, but also, there is something deep and dark oh, hidden there. Sense. And, like, I think this is the earliest that he's revealed, like, his backstory, right? Yeah. And so, like, even though the backstory was so, like, cheerful and stuff, it's not, no. It's got to be a cover. It's got to be a fake no, backstory. A 100%. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm, like, super intrigued to see Bertram Bell. Like, I honestly do not believe that he is the permanent character. <laughs> no, no. I was like, no, no. Like, <laughs> If any of them are going... It's, 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 it's Bell. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was fun to see him again. Like, I love the concept of someone playing an older character. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, it's not, like a, it's not like a D&D player to drop a backstory episode one. Are, do you guys know that from experience? Are you tabletop gamers? I am a tabletop yep. gamer. Mm-hmm. Yep. What do yeah. you usually play? Uh, D&D. Fifth edition, all right. I played a lot of different. I started in Pathfinder, and uh, I'm running my own game based on the Firefly role-playing system. Are you really? I, I don't hear about that one a whole lot. It's 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 an odd it's an odd system mm. to go with. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of anybody else doing it, but mm. yeah. It's Everyone else has been all 5e, and it's a indie tabletop channel, so I like hearing about yeah. other stuff. Last question. Do you all have any favorite Critical Role one-liners? I did have, you can reply to this message as my ringtone for quite a while. That's pretty good. All right. <laughs> I, I will say that um, just being able to hang out with this group of people where you don't know anything about anybody in here, but you watch someone walking by, it's like, I recognize your bidet. Yes. Yes. Bidet. Bidet. <laughs> like, little things like that have always been my favorite thing where it's just like, this shouldn't be what, like, connects us. What do you guys think of the Critical Role Season 3 premiere? Loved it. Yeah? I'm, I'm super excited. I'm waiting for the 100th episode. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Like episode of content that's going to happen. Are you a long-time Critical Role fan? We yeah, all are. We y'all are? Been watching. I see you got some pins. What have you got here? Totally. I've got Bo and Yashi from Campaign 2, and then Percy and Vex from Campaign 1. Do you have a favorite character for Season 3? Uh, I've got to La- go with Ashton, I think. Ashton? I really like Metallica's character, yeah. Good. I, I like Londa. Londa's spooky. Yes. I gotta love the, the edge. Mm-hmm. I don't think I have a specific favorite as of yet. They're mm-hmm. all still very interesting, especially dealing with the comeback of the Exandria Unlimited characters. I'm still happy to go and see those characters back because they were super fun characters to go and uh, go and ride along with in Exandria Unlimited. Mm-hmm. So it's nice to go and see them back in and get a little bit more uh, spotlight in there. Do you have any predictions for the rest of Campaign Three? I I don't think Bertram's gonna be very permanent. I think he might be out of the party pretty yeah? soon. Yeah? Oh, dang. Like, maybe I, not, like, quick, but... Honestly, I think that there's going to be some stuff from Tal'Dorei. White Stone got mentioned, though. White Stone it or did. got name-dropped, as well as mm. Keyleth. We're going to do a couple quick questions. Do you have any favorite Critical Role one-liners? It can be one of the one of the repeated sayings. It can be an inside joke. Um, got to go with the Mimi joke of, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. But if I had to go with anything, it's... Percy's life needs things to live. 
it's it's an iconic line. Uh, what was it? Do not go far from me from uh. From Bax. Yeah, from Bax. That was a good classic from Campaign. Good, good. Of course, the uh, newly from Fern. Time is a weird spooky. <laughs> is this the longest thing y'all have seen in, in in a theater? Definitely for me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, yes, definitely. Would you Would you do it again? Was it worth it for this round sound in the crowd? I would. Oh, I yeah. think the crowd experience is fun. It's a nice substitute for a live show. It and is. It's. I think that it's going to open up more opportunities, hopefully. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you all tabletop gamers? Oh, yeah. Yeah? We yeah. just wrapped up a three-year campaign for me. No way. Into his. Good. Uh, and already prepping for another world for another campaign. Of course. Stepping into the DM's shoes, how you feel? It's always going to be nerve-wracking. It's like, oh, what if they don't like it? But it's you're there for fun. You're there with friends. Good, good. Exactly. That's the attitude. What about you? You said it looked like you were nodding. You run a campaign too. Yep. I, mine wasn't as long. There was like, you know, some issues with it here and there, but I'm going to probably run one after him. So, But All I right. enjoy being a DM. I like crafting a world and like the NPCs and stuff. It's my favorite part. Cool. What about as players? Do you all have a favorite class? Bard for me. Bard? There's always bard a bard somewhere in the group. Uh, currently right now playing a barbarian, having a fun time with that, but gotta go wizard. Wizard? Wiz wizards are always fun, especially divination ones. Good, good. Of time. <laughs> <laughs> Great. What about you? Uh, everyone hates them for whatever reason, but rangers are always a homestead in my heart. All right. All right. Well, thank you for the rare answer, and I hope you all have a good night. Thank you for chatting.